We are almost ready to go here at the Memorial Ground. Perfect afternoon for summer rugby. Clear blue skies as Cornwall get us underway in a game that will send rugby league expansionists into a hum of pure delight as the Chuffs host Newcastle Thunder. 11th round of Betfred League One and it's Thunder with first use of the football and there's Nathan Newbound who spent time here on loan at the Memorial Ground 12 months ago he's pushed backwards Aronson with the handling error after his run from dummy half was halted 10 metres shy of halfway the ball came loose and Newcastle will have a scrum fed by Bibby and they go Left through the hands and Evan Lawless through. Oh, he sliced straight through the Cornwall defence and he escapes the attempted ankle tap of Cameron Brown. Well, there is a turn up for the books inside the first 10 minutes here in the Penryn sunshine. Newcastle Thunder have opened the scoring and the basement dwellers have stunned the Chuffs with the first four points of the afternoon. Aronson in it. Dummy half onto Cullen. All Cullen juggles but does well to keep hold of the ball and he takes Newbound on. But Newbound stops him, but Cullen manages to offload. Luke Collins into the Newcastle Thunder 10 metre zone. It'll be Wheatman, the dummy half. Will he go left? No, he goes right to Ruslin. A short ball to Darcy Simpson and Cornwall. They really are in range now, trailing by six points to nil. Here's Collins. Wheatman arrives. Onto that ball at pace. And David Wheatman, the Geordie boy, scores against the Geordies. And Cornwall are on the board. They've struggled in these opening stages. Newcastle went ahead thanks to Lawther's try. But with a kick to come, Cornwall have the chance to restore parity. And it's David Wheatman against his former club with the Chuffs' opening try. Cameron Brown, the referee calls... Time back on, and Brown makes no mistake with the extra two points. And Cornwall have leveled things up here at the Memorial Ground after 26 minutes in the Penryn sunshine. It's the Chuff 6, Newcastle 6. Collins with his arms up in the air. He wants a quick play of the ball. Back to Ruslin. Now Ruslin will go up in the air, and that's... Split the full back and the winger Birch has let the ball bounce. Nickel could be in here. Has he scored? I think he has. Kobe Nickel gets the ball down. What's the referee given? Well, he hasn't given the try. I think the merry flag waver over on the far side, Christoph Young, has said that that ball went dead or Nickel put it down on the line. But that's a real let off for Newcastle. Cornwall almost going back to back. The Cornwall timekeeper, Andy Gwillam, is about to sound the siren. I don't think we'll have time for this scrum. And there, in fact, does go the siren. Referee Alan Billington says, that's enough chaps and entertaining opening 40 minutes. Here in the Duchy at the Memorial Ground, Newcastle open the score. But Cornwall have hit back and they finish the half strongly. But we go in at the interval, all square. It's Cornwall 6, Newcastle 6. Newcastle get us back underway in the second half. They will be running down the fabled Memorial Ground slope. The game is intriguingly, delicately, interestingly points at six points all. Though Cornwall will perhaps been the happier of the two sides going into the sheds at half time. They did finish that first half in confident front foot fashion. They've Started this first set in the second half where they left off. That's a good carry from AJ Borman getting Cornwall almost to halfway. Wheatman went to give the ball to Sam Campbell but kept hold of it. And Cornwall are now over halfway. Wheatman will play the ball to Conroy. Oh, Conroy spotted a huge gap in the Newcastle defence. He's got Borman and Black in support. He gives it to Bailey Black. And in the blink of an eye, Cornwall have started this second half like a house on fire. The opening points, the opening try of this second period, it goes to the Chuffs and it's Bailey Black. 
Well, the chat at half-time very much was that the next try in this game could be pivotal and it has gone the way of the home side. How will Newcastle respond? Brown just knocks over an easy extra two points. Cornwall hit the front for the first time this afternoon after that try from Black converted by Brown. Newcastle have offered very little in an attacking sense so far. They've had to do a lot of defending. What will they do from this scrum? Well, Bibby's just decided to hack the ball forward. Brown can get back and gather easily. Well, even with close to 30 minutes left of this second half, of this match, that play there really from Ollie Bibby smacked a desperation a little bit. Yes, there was no one at home. Brown got back, but the wingers hadn't pushed up at all. And it just gives the ball straight back to Cornwall as Kobe Nicker will look to bring it out from inside his own red zone. Conroy points left and then goes right, but he's gone on his own again. Here goes Conroy again. He's got Wheatman in support and he gives it to David Wheatman. Cornwall with a really good platform to build from. Simpson back to Ruslin, back to Brown. Once again, another sensational try from Cornwall. Finished off by Cameron Brown. But it was all about Nathan Conroy. His quick-minded play. He sniped away from dummy half. Put Cornwall in range. A series of supporting plays from Wheatman, Simpson and Ruslin. And Cornwall have put real daylight between the two sides. Brown will have attempt to convert his own try once again it looks relatively straightforward and Brown does make it look easy he tosses the tee back to Chris Bannister one of the Cornwall water carriers and the Chuffs lead here at the Mem by 18 points to six Small is brought down eight meters away from this Newcastle line Oh, Ruslin. Oh, there's no one at home. Can Brown gather? Can Brown score? Yes, he does. Well, Adam Ruslin, he looked up. He spotted Brown's run. Brown knew there was no one at home. And Cornwall have their third try of this second half. And surely that is the point secure and a first home win at the Memorial Ground this season for Mike Abbott's side. Bit of deja vu for Cornwall. Brown looking to add the extra two points onto his own try. This is from bang in front. Surely it will go over and the flags go up. Indeed it does. Cornwall have extended their advantage to 24 points to six. There's no way back for Newcastle now. Newcastle have done well to stem this Cornwall tied. The Chuffs looked like they would run riot when Brown scored his second try of the afternoon. Here's Collins. Oh, a little short border. Harry Boots. Boots the Welshman over underneath the sticks. One of the most popular members of this Cornwall side. Harry Boots. His first try of the season. It was simple. It was easy. Collins with the offload. And Boots puts the cherry on top of the cake for Cornwall. Brown's task of making it five conversions from as many attempts. Looks like it's going to be a routine one. It's bang in front of the post after that try from Harry Boots. Lovely offload from Luke Collins. And Brown makes no mistake. That's five from five from Cameron Brown. As Cornwall finish with a flourish. The points will be staying here in the duchy. This could be the last players. We're in the final 10 seconds. Will Newcastle finish well? No, they don't. Yes. Lawther, who did get proceedings underway in fine fashion for Thunder, is tackled. And there's a little bit of afters there between both sides. And the referee, Alan Billington, just tells everyone to calm down. Cornwall prevail, five tries, four of those in the second half, two to Cameron Brown. But it was the Chuffs led by the outstanding Nathan Conroy prevail. Their first win of the season in front of their own fans. It's finished.
Cornwall 30, Newcastle 6.